Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Lovett again, and I'm so happy to see you. Today we're gonna do kind of a quick lesson. Um, I'm gonna do some cartooning with you, and I'm gonna teach you a couple of little techniques that I think are interesting. Um, so what you will need is a pencil and some paper, any kind of paper. I'm gonna do a Sharpie today, but you can use a pencil, and if you wanna go back and go over it and outline it with a, a permanent marker, that's great. I'm also going to be using crayons and markers. Um, those are extra. If you don't have those, no worries. So I've been making postcards and I just put some fun little drawings on my postcards. And so I'm going to teach you how to make some of these fun little things today. So the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to make these little peeking over, um, people. So they can peek over anything. I'm going to have, I'm going to draw a flower pot. So I'm going to draw my flower pot. and that it angles in, and I always put a curve on the bottom to make it look more 3D. I'm gonna add my little fingers peeking up over the edge, and then I'm gonna start with the eyes. And I can add a nose. You can have a mouth or not have a mouth. I usually, if I'm doing somebody with short hair, I add ears next, and then I go back and do the round part of the head. This boy has short curly hair. I'm going to make just a wacky, crazy hairdo with a crazy line. And there's my person peeking over my flower pot. I can go back in and I can add colors. Maybe he's over here and he's scared of a little caterpillar that is crawling around. Who knows? You can add some grass. Another thing you might want to do is add a thought balloon. And then you can write whatever you want to. Adding color will perk it up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give my inanimate creatures or things that aren't people, um, personalities. So I'm gonna start with my glue bottle. So I'm gonna start with his cone hat and I'm gonna start just slightly back and make an oval. That's gonna make, looks like a traffic cone right now. I come straight down and I'm gonna mimic that curve two angles straight down and then you can make whatever kind of label you want this is just my label that I always make and I always use orange and blue but you can use whatever colors you want if you want to get really fancy you can add little lines all the way across like I did um, in this one right here without the face or you can add a face and give them a little personality, your favorite kind of eyes or whatever. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a paintbrush. So I'm gonna do kind of a raindrop shape and I'm just gonna go in and add a couple of lines, not too many in the middle because I wanna be able to add my face. You can always go back and add more on the sides if you wanna give it more of that paintbrush. Then I add a little rectangle underneath and then whatever sh kind of shape you want for the body. To do the pencil, I'm gonna start with an oval and I'm gonna go straight down on the sides. I'm gonna curve here and curve there. And this is going to make that little silver part. A Couple of lines here. Again, eyes, nose, mouth, and now he has a little personality. And then the last one I'm gonna show you is the crayon. Similar to the pencil, but I'm gonna go straight down after I've made my point, but I'm gonna go across and across again with straight lines, and then I'm going to give it kind of a wavy line and a wavy line there, and then I'm gonna give him the eyes and the nose. Maybe he's got a really crazy mouth. He doesn't know what's going on, and I can add color to those. If you wanna make them think, 
they can think. Just do the thought balloon. Maybe they're, maybe they're talking. He's actually got his mouth open, and I'm going to do a little word balloon. And there you go. So now I'm going to show you how to make a set of watercolor paints. So I'm going to draw two parallel lines and connect those lines. Then I'm going to drop it down and create another parallel line. Then I'm going to go up and then a parallel line to that. And then I'll add a little edge right there for the top. Then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to make some little rectangles, little curved rectangles. They don't have to be perfect. You just keep making them even if you run out of space. And then I'm put little faces on them. And then you can add your paintbrush. I'm going to put my paintbrush like this. And he can have a face or not have a face. It's totally up to you. You can have it either way. I'm gonna have him looking down. So he has like a little mouth. And there you go. So now what I'm gonna do is I've already colored this one and I'm gonna show you how to create a more interesting background. So I'm going to actually add a line to divide my table from my wall. And I'm gonna use some markers to make some different um, patterns. Those patterns are going to make the paintbrush and the paint set stand out more. So I'm gonna start with some dots. And I'm just gonna do dots kind of randomly all over. <laughs> Now I'm finished, I have my polka dotted background and my lines and stripes in the background for my wall and my image is finish, finished. I hope you enjoyed this cartooning lesson and I hope that you will be able to make as many cartoons as you have time for. Hey boys and girls, so I hope you enjoyed our cartooning lesson today. Um, the, our little peaky guy and our little um, objects, inanimate objects with personality. Remember, you're going to need white paper or actually any kind of paper, a Sharpie or a pencil, markers and crayons if you have them available, and just go have fun. You can even start a comic strip. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Bye.